Hello and welcome to Northside Speaks. I'm your host, Lori Salazar. Now, today we're talking to Northside's Director of Maintenance, Henry Acosta. Mr. Acosta, welcome and thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. So, Mr. Acosta, we're talking about the recycling program, but first of all, I want to clarify, there are two types of recycling programs here at Northside. Yes, ma'am, there is. Uh, when we first started looking at the recycling program here at Northside, uh, we understood that the, uh, many of the campuses were already, already had a paper retrieval uh, recycling program going on. Mm -hmm. um, our whole goal was just uh, it was not to overshadow that, but to add to that. And what we were hoping to do is just collect everything else that wasn't being picked up, you know, such as cardboard, uh, recyclable cans, and uh, of course all the plastic bottles. So when I think of just things like that throughout this huge district that we're at, I mean, you think, what, 13,000 employees, mm -hmm. 103,000 students, right. uh, sporting events, you have it. We're talking about a lot of things that can be recycled. Yes, ma'am. The program that we have, it, it's a co-mingled, and what we mean by that is, is we collect everything, and, and, and with the exception of the paper, and we will take paper in case, but uh -huh. we just didn't want to overshadow them. Uh, but it, yes, it's huge. With 140 plus facilities, uh, we have recycle, recyclable containers at every uh -huh. facility. And with those containers, you all just received a grant for some new bins. Yes, ma'am, yes we did. Uh, along with our uh, grants department and Coca-Cola, uh, we were lucky enough, uh, we applied, did all the, uh, the paperwork, and then we submitted uh, the paperwork, and then in turn received bins as part of that grant. Very nice. So this is going to, of course, help us out. Yes, ma'am. To collect the recycling it products. Is. So uh, this program hasn't been around too long. Tell me how it's working out. Well, we started back in 2013. It was an initiative by the superintendent. He wanted to see a comprehensive program district-wide. Uh, so we started a pilot program. We started with uh, six campuses, uh, one high school, two, two middle schools, and three elementaries. Mm -hmm. Now we picked these schools because uh, they were very successful in some programs that they had. Uh, our initial goal was to collect 20%. Uh, uh, if, you, if you can think, all our trash goods uh, within our district, uh, we collect close to 235,000 cubic yards of trash. So we were hoping to collect at least 20% of that and deem it recyclable goods. So when I think of, what did you say, how many cubic 235, yards? 235,000 cubic yards. It's hard for me to visualize yes. that. So what would you compare it to, a football stadium, a big uh, dumpster truck? Or? Well, in weight, if we're looking at just weight, uh, uh -huh. you know, one ton being 2,000 pounds, uh, and then 3.3 uh, cubic yards equaling one ton, uh, mm -hmm. what we're hoping to do is collect close to 14,000 tons of uh, recyclable goods this year. Well, that, that already sounds like a lot. You say a ton. A and, ton. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, and so far it's going pretty good. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it's so going excellent. What can we do here as a school district with our teachers out there, our administrators, our students and parents to help uh, this program along to make sure we're doing our best? Well, I, I think it's everybody's responsibility mm -hmm. to be excellent stewards of not only our environment, but just our community. And, and at the end of the day, it's just the right thing to do. Uh, you know, it helps our landfills, it conserves our water, uh, you know, just our, our energy consumptions. So if we can just all pitch in as one big district, mm -hmm. you know, it'll just, it'll just go miles. So also when I think of recycling, the obvious, obviously, the water bottles, boxes. Yes. But what about other things? I think, what if, about a pizza box? or a brown paper bag from fast food lunch? Yeah, the brown paper bags will take. The pizza boxes, they, they tend to have a waxy film on it. Mm -hmm. Those are some items that we're still looking at. Uh, some of the machinery that does recyclable, uh, there's some, you know, some do's and some don'ts. Uh -huh. and, and right now those, those waxy type cardboards are uh, some of the don'ts, but we'll mm -hmm. take any other cardboard that doesn't contain uh, any type of uh, pizza or, or uh -huh food film on it. And of course, preferably clean, rinsed out. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Henry, Mr. Costa, thank you so much for joining us here on Northside Speaks and really me. informing us about uh, the recycling program here at Northside. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And thank you for watching another edition of Northside Speaks. We'll see you next time.